Hi everyone, my name is Yu Shan Zhang and I'm currently a PhD student from Lehigh University. Today, I'm going to present our work named Adversarial Reinforcement Learning for Unsupervised Domain Adaptation. Here is my outline. First of all, I will give you a brief background about domain adaptation. As we know that we are in a big data era and there are many unlabeled data. And we know that it is time consuming and expensive to manually label the data. And therefore, a model reused based on labeled data is necessary. However, due to the phenomenon of data set bias or domain shift, the performance in the target domain is usually low if we use a traditional machine learning models. As you can see in this image, the left part are screens from Amazon and the right part are uh, screens from Office data set. Uh, if we try our model and use a source domain and test it on the target domain, we can expect that there is lower performance in the uh, target domain, right? Uh, because of the difference of those screens. Therefore, domain adaptation is proposed to mitigate such a domain shift problem. Next, I'm going to formally define our problem that is unsupervised domain adaptation. We usually have a labeled source domain and unlabeled tech domain, and our objective is to train a classification model on the source domain and improve the accuracy on the tech domain. Uh, of course, there are many state-of-the-art methods from both the traditional best methods and the deep learning best methods. And due to limited time, I won't discuss about the details of them. If you are interested, you can check the references. Uh, however, there are still several limitations. For example, they only focus on one backbone network and do not explore other imaginative models. And also, they only know, they did not know the best of feature for transfer knowledge from source domain to the target domain. Uh, in order to mitigate those limitations, in our paper, we first extract features from 16, uh, 16 neural networks and based on our prior knowledge that a better imaginary model produced better pre-trained features for UDM. However, how to find a best feature pair for two domains is a problem. In this toy example, we first use TSNEV to show the points of uh, 16 pre-trained imagined models. And this clock image similar in the target target image, we also show the 16 points which represent feature from the 16 neural networks. If we combine them together, we probably can find that the uh, source feature from the shuffle net and the target feature from the NASNet mobile uh, have the shortest distance, which means that if we can select these two networks as a, a feature ex uh, extractor, we can uh, have a higher performance in the target image, right? And based on this idea, in our paper, we propose to use reinforcement learning as a feature selector so that we can find the best feature pairs by the defined the type of, uh, correlated reward and then perform adversarial distribution alignment um, in our model. Uh, you can check the details of this diagram in the paper. And later, we evaluate our model using three benchmark datasets, and we find that uh, our model always achieves the highest uh, performance uh, among the three datasets. And there are several take home messages. Uh, first of all, uh, reinforcement learning discovers the closest features between source and target domain from feature space. And the adversary learning further reduces the domain discrepancy. Domain distribution alignment can align joint distribution of two domains, which guarantees the agreement in the label space. And the features from the same deep networks are surprising to not generate the best performance in the UDA. In conclusion, we can select the best pre trained features via reinforcement learning from 16 ImageNet models and the adversarial learning can and join distribution and further reduce the source and target discrepancy and achieve a higher accuracy on the target domain. For future work, we will consider about the fusion of different features from different neural networks so that it can uh, lead to a higher performance. And that's all my slides. If you have any questions, please feel free to email to me. Thank you.